Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel like this video and watch this video until the end because if you don't you will be automatically disqualified from the giveaway we will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily somewhere in the video and then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section good luck now let's proceed with the latest direct in our news and until today please take these information with a grain of salt and please make sure to do your own due diligence from News Hound, Intel Guru Mountain Goat, I want to make it very, very clear to everyone that the IQD is not yet reinstated on Forks. Not yet trading on Forks. Yes, if you go to Forks, there is a benchmark rate for the IQD, but it is a linked rate only. Linked back to the CBI. It is a page holder. Yes, this is still a very good thing, and I don't want to downplay it either. The IQD rate is there only in preparation for the future. But there is not yet any trading ability to buy or sell. From Intel Guru Frank 26 Iraq Boots on the Ground Report. From Firefly, the CBI is on the news today warning people not to deal with unlicensed companies. From Frank, if you're not dealing with unlicensed businesses, then those companies are going to go out of business. And fines are going to drive them out of business. There's no more problems with banks that are using the American dollars in Iraq. They are being eradicated. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, article quote. There are no sanctions imposed on Iraq by the U.S. Treasury. But sometimes there is a tightening of standards. They say it twice today in different articles that there are no sanctions imposed on Iraq. If that's the case, and the U.S. Treasury gives the green light then, wow, we really have nothing holding us back. From Newshound Guru Pimpy, as I watch the markets, and read more and more about what's going on in Iraq, it's really starting to look inevitable that Iraq has to do something with the exchange rate. This gap between the parallel market and the fixed market is starting to get really out of control. We know Al Sudani made an announcement that he was going to take some steps to close this gap. Now Al Sudani is coming over here to the White House to speak to Biden. I'm curious to see if the Biden administration is going to do anything to help Iraq in their situation. He could help flood their country with U.S. dollars and the dollar would lose value and the Iraqi dinar would gain value. Or they could just turn around and increase the exchange rate. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, I have not heard from Iraqi sources in the sandbox yet today. I know they had high anticipation for the first. Comment, I think it will happen in January. From Mark Z, I feel it will be much sooner so much happening now. And all at one time. From Newshound Guru Samson, article, the Ministry of Oil confirms that the government is continuing to pass the oil and gas law. From Newshound, Intel Guru Walking Stick, question, it seems to me the United States Treasury wants a new exchange rate for the dinar. Do you think they want the exchange rate not so much to benefit Iraq, but for all the Iraqi dinars that we have in our federal reserves? Yes, and the new exchange rate they agreed upon through the RV they gave it to the U.S. Treasury when they went over there last week. That's why they're all excited. They know it's about to happen. Our feds are pushing for its release to happen now because they got what they wanted. From Intel Guru Bruce via Wiser now, I would say, based on what we're hearing, the fact that the Intel is sort of drying up a little bit, a good and a bad sign. It's a good sign for us in that. It shows how close everything is. It shows how the proximity is ready to go. From Newshound Guru Caperoni, despite efforts from the CBI to reduce the spread of the market street rate in Iraq, it still remains almost 18% higher than the official rate from the CBI at 1310. Not good. 
from Intel Guru Frank 26. Article, new statement from oil on the draft oil. In gas law, remember in my opinion, the nanosecond you see the HCL, seconds later you will see the new exchange rate of the ICT. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, I finally got some chatter from Iraqi contacts today. And they did say that things went very well over the weekend and they expect an announcement in the coming days. I got this from a number of sources, both internationally and domestic. Before ending with the last update, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is anticipation. You can be the lucky winner if you like, subscribe, and watch the main content of this video. This will be for this coming Sunday's giveaway, and the winner will be announced in one of the Sunday's videos so you do not want to miss it. And finally, the last update is from Newshound Guru Militiaman. If they do in fact get the oil and gas law done, they're going to need an evaluation for that. They're going to need to know what to pay the wealth of the citizens a fair distribution. That's all for the latest updates on the Iraq Dinar. What are your thoughts of all the articles or news coming from Iraq and opinions from these intel providers? Moreover, we posted a news article video yesterday in a groundbreaking move. Iraq is embarking on a transformation towards a sustainable green economy with the aim of attracting $100 billion in investments by 2035. The Iraqi Minister of Environment, Nizar Amidi, highlighted the importance of this shift, not only for the environment, but also for the nation's economic progress. In today's video, we dove into the details and understand why this initiative is a game-changer for Iraq's economic and monetary reform. Please go ahead and check it out by clicking on the link on the top right of this video, as you don't want to miss this. Lastly, we will continue to post videos about the recent events and articles supporting the changes taking place in Iraq so you don't want to miss them. Also don't forget, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video. Bye.